Show. What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is all about Legoland. I'm gonna give you a full review on what to expect when you go to Legoland and share my story on how I got to Legoland. All right, so I was at a convention the week before in Vegas and I had a connection from LAX to Honolulu, which that flight was canceled and delayed number of times. Shout out to Delta, but I got my flight rescheduled to Sunday. So I got to spend Friday through Sunday with my nephew for his fourth birthday, which we spent at Legoland. I got lucky. To top it off, we got to stay at the new castle hotel at Legoland, which was unbelievable. I can't believe that I got to spend his birthday with him. My nephew had a blast with all his friends. It was a huge birthday party. Everyone came down to Legoland. So this video, I'm gonna share my experience with you. I'm gonna give you a full review of Legoland and even give you a sneak peek of what they're doing right now called Brick or Treat. Let's get this video started. This park has everything to offer and more. Seriously meant for the parents with kids. But I'm here with my brother looking for my nephew. If you are interested in stroller tech, come to Legoland and you can learn a lot about all the different types of strollers there is out there. Like yesterday I saw one with a skateboard attached to it which is so sick.
I'm gonna fit on that airplane. Okay. Are you ready to fly, Jonas? Yeah. All right, let's do this. <laughs> They set up a Lego play area right in the middle of a long line. Genius. Legos to play with in the middle. So all the parents can chill out while the kids play on their Legos. So genius. Amazing, all these thousands of pieces just come together in a big city. They call it the big mini city. Yep. I made it to the city of dreams, the big apple. What up guys? I hope you're enjoying the video right now. If you made it this far, thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. This is your first time. Give that subscribe button a hit for more videos to come, more reviews, more vlogs, and let's jump into the review real quick. All right, so there's three main factors that make Legoland an awesome place. First off, it's the food. They don't have any third party vendors on site. It's all on property restaurants. They make their food fresh. They promote it fresh. The second thing is that they're very clean. It's a lot like other parks like Disneyland or Universal Studios. They're very clean. They have awesome staff. So everyone works for Legoland and no third party. I was pretty happy about that. The third thing is that they are family friendly. Uh, of course, you saw all the strollers, so I recommend going there if you have a young infant to maybe a teenage kid, that's the place to go. So Legoland offers three different parks. They have the Legoland, they have the water park, and then they have the Sea Life Water Aquarium. I got the Costco three-day pass that gives you access to all three. I did walk around the, the water park a little bit. It was really cool. I highly recommend checking it out when the summer comes around. It's the, definitely a good spot to take the kids. The aquarium, it's very short, so don't expect a lot, but the quality is there. The thing that Legoland didn't have was water stations. It was actually really hard to find an, a water fountain, let alone a cold water dispenser for those portable water bottles. That's one thing that I do want to point out. Uh, but other than that, there were a few that we found, but it was like a soda machine that you would have to walk into the store and kind of sneak your way in and, and people think that you're taking out soda. We did find one and here's that clip. So this is the only free water we can actually find on the park. That's one thing to prepare for, bring those extra water bottles. Cool thing is you can bring in your own food, you can bring it in your own water, so do that. All right, so the last video I'm gonna leave you with is one of Legoland's seasonal opportunities and it's called Brick or Treat, where they open the park up after hours for everyone to go on the rides. All the rides are open late at night, Halloween themed out. 
It's really awesome for the kids. They get to go around the park and trick or treat, what they call brick or treat. It's definitely an experience. It's seasonal. It's only offered through October and November, I think. I highly recommend checking it out if you want to do one of those activities late at night. Of course, bring a jacket. It gets a little bit cold. It's definitely worth checking out. And here's that video right now. I'm gonna try to come out with a new video once a week. Not sure on the days yet. I'm either thinking Fridays or Monday or a Wednesday to launch a video once a week. But uh, until I nail that date down, I will keep you posted every time I post a new video. Uh, check out my social media. Appreciate your time. See ya.